Toonami are on the march in London for a change. Of course, Newcastle United somewhat surprisingly sit in third place at the moment. They too could go top of the table tonight, but they would have to win by two goals here. And uh, when you consider their form in London, or lack of form in London, that might be asking a little bit too much of them. But you never know in this game, anything can happen. Alan Shearer, by the way, is uh, hoping to do something he hasn't done before in his rather long and illustrious career, and that is score on this ground. Shea Given has been in fantastic form this season, and there's Craig Bellamy, who missed the game against Blackburn. Alan Shearer leads out Newcastle, and Patrick Vieira leads out Arsenal for a gripping contest between two of the top teams in the country. Another packed house, of course, at Highbury. To come on Sunday and Chelsea to come on Boxing Day, but it's pretty big for Newcastle too. They face Leeds and then North East rivals Middlesbrough. Never rule out Manchester United and Newcastle. Been up there for most of the season. Henri helps it on to Parler. Now Lauren. Here's Will Tord. No flag and a decent delivery for Will Tord for Carnu. What a chance for Arsenal. Sylvain Will Tord pushed into a right midfield role today. But this was a teasing centre. Likely, but a rather spectacular hat trick against him in a 5 0 battering. Thierry Henry could be in here. O'Brien sticking close by. Another juggling act from Henry, though, which was wonderful. And Pires is waiting. And in the battle for top spot at Highbury, Arsenal are in front. Thierry Henry with a wonderful juggling act here. There's a hint of a hand, actually, as Pires initially challenged for it. Henri did so well. Did that hit Pires's hand? Well, as it came back towards him, he put it away, and Arsenal lead. And one actually includes a couple of FA Cup finals at Wembley as well, and a semi-final. Dabizas has a little pop back at Ray Parler. Uh, getting a little niggly for Graham Pohl's liking at the moment. Davis has certainly appeared to be clipped by Parler, but uh, he wasn't about to let it go either, the Greek international. Ray Parler now is going to get a yellow card for that. Last season, in fact, they haven't finished in the top ten for four years running now. Maybe that could change. Third at the moment, Alan Shearer, caught by... Ray Parler, who's already had a yellow card and he's going to be off. Graham Pohl shows a second yellow card to Ray Parler. And Parler walks, and Arsenal are sensationally down to ten men. Trouble the ten men of Arsenal, they can make a double substitution, in fact. Romano Trezor, Luar Luar is also coming on. And Solano is uh, going to make way for him. Going for it then. Laurent Luar is on. And Solano is off. And Laurent Robert is going to take the place of Robbie Elliott, the uh, Frenchman up against a few of his fellow countrymen in the Arsenal team tonight. Laurent Luar takes the corner. Oh, it's in at the near post. O'Brien has equalised for Newcastle with their first attempt on goal. Arsenal caught out by Andy O'Brien. And the two Army have something to celebrate in London. Not a win yet, but they are level. And it's most unlike Arsenal to get caught out like that. Andy O'Brien at the near post. And Arsenal just stood and watched, and nobody picked him up. Managed to win in the capital. It was a 2 1 scoreline at Crystal Palace over four years ago. Sort of scoreline they might fancy again here, especially as Henri does make a mistake. He gives it away. Bellamy, 
Now, did he catch Cole? He's already on a yellow card, Greg Bellamy. He's going to go. Is it going to be a second yellow? A straight red. He's summoned. It's a straight red, in fact. He's summoned to Graham Pohl. And Newcastle are also down to ten men. Bellamy can't believe it. Bobby Robson is less than impressed too. But Graham Pohl has levelled it up as far as the red cards are concerned. There was no second yellow forthcoming for Bellamy, who is taking his time, but he has to walk. Just back from a suspension, actually. Missed the game against Blackburn at the weekend. We'll have another one now. Well, he uh, wrapped his arm around Ashley Cole here. Is there that much intent there, though? Newcastle, just in case. He can come towards it happen. Here's Pires. Looking to turn provider this time. Thierry Henry is in fine form tonight and all through the season. And here go Newcastle with Dyer. Slipping it through, and there's no flag against Robert. What a chance for Laurent Robert! He's taken out, is he, by Sol Campbell? Robert just caught then by Sol Campbell. And it's only a yellow card for Campbell, but it's a penalty. It's Alan Shearer. He's done it. It's his first goal ever at Highbury. And it may have given Newcastle their first win in London in 30 matches, stretching back over four years. There's a bit of time to see out yet. But Shearer kept cool, kept calm, and has fired Newcastle into a 2-1 lead. It's whipped in by Van Bronckhorst. And Distan got it away. This is going to be some six minutes, that is for sure. Here's Vieira. In it goes again. Comes through to Campbell. And now Cole. Trying to lift it through to Dennis Bergkamp. Could be a bit of a break on here, mind you. And Robert could be in again. He is. Similar scenario. Laurent Robert has clinched it for Newcastle. A classic counter-attack. Bobby Robson is all smiles. So are his players. And the Toonami are on the march in London for a change. A capital conquest at last. They have waited so, so long to win in the city. But Laurent Robert denied last time when he was put through by Sol Campbell's challenge, which led to the penalty for Shearer. But nobody got close to him this time. But uh, you can never write this man off, can you? Bobby Robson is going to be top of the Premiership, it seems. He is. Newcastle have beaten Arsenal 3-1 on an evening of enthralling entertainment at Highbury. A game that saw two red cards and Thierry Henry is leading the Arsenal protest here. Alan Shearer calming him down. No wonder that Henri is fuming and frustrated because he once again... Oh, dear, oh, dear, he's got to be calmed down here because he's losing the plot, Thierry Henri. He's got to be told to calm down. Gary Lewin, the Arsenal physio, trying to get him away from referee Graham Pohl. And Henri still wants to come back and have a pop. He has lost the plot here. And he is saying his piece to Graham Pohl. 